as we all know, these are extraordinary times and we have real opportunity during the extraordinary times to figure out how to take things forward. We're all dealing not just with the pandemic, but we're also dealing with the national and international re-examination of race and social injustice. Um, these events today have the opportunity of changing how we think about ourselves as society and how we think about everything that happens around us. And we at Palo Alto Networks, uh, our 8,000 strong people, are undergoing some of the same trials and tribulations and challenges as many, many, many people around the world. Um, and we've really had to focus in the last three to four months around what's right for our employees, what's right for our company, as well as what's right for our customers and what's right uh, for their employees. For the JSAC, uh, to, for all of us to remember that it just reinforces the importance of, that, of the Service Academy Summit in that the service academies are so uniquely placed to be at an intersection of higher ed, business, uh, government, uh, and, and just industry as, as the uh, cyber enterprise continues to advance, that the service academies find themselves in a unique juncture of, uh, of all of those elements. So I think this is such an important partnership. So there's lots of energy behind this idea of the new normal. Uh, I would argue, uh, having been in the Pentagon on 9-11, like probably many of you, um, I think it's more a new now than it is a new normal. And uh, so uh, as we look forward, uh, so new normal is kind of what we did after 9-11. On the next day, there were some things that we have adopted and we still do today. But back to this idea that this is a seminal moment, this is different. Uh, it's almost, we're almost at a place where think about where we were two weeks ago and then think about what we've done over the next two, over the last two weeks. When it first came to this situation, the first thing that broke into my mind was never let a serious crisis go to waste. It provides the opportunity to do the things that were not possible before. And in this scenario, quite frankly, funding and emphasis of all of these items were always in our cross check, but in the battle for finite resources, they never made it above the cut line except in a crisis. Another piece was the active uh, activities to implement quick solutions. We rapidly implemented them due to the efforts, and I applaud the efforts of NSA and DISA to make quick assessments and ensure security as we went forward. I'll tell you, the key lesson learned in going forward is that we have to be mobile ready. We are a mobile DOD workforce, and we are a mobile uh, a, a, uh, war fighting force. We have to be mobile ready with our devices, with our capabilities, with our applications, with access to our data, and with our processes. Okay, so now that I've given you the aspirational statement, let me tell you why I think you're going to have a lot of fun, but why it's going to be really hard. Uh, I think what we've been talking about here is you need to deliver for us in a very assured and competent, authoritative way, global, mobile, secure, wireless, independent of spectrum and protocol. Uh, you need to do that because in the maneuver dimension where we need to deliver fires uh, across a wide front, it is going to be about decision to do so. That decision is going to be driven by data, and that data is important as we cross into if we are called to do so as a department and as a joint force, the lethality boundary. And we need that data to be authoritative, uh, and we need that to be competent, and we need that to be trusted. Both intelligence and cyber professionals are recognized experts at dealing with data, obtaining data, transporting data, analyzing data, visualizing the data, and fusing the data. Uh, with our chief data officer, we're developing better ways of using data to drive enterprise decision making. The pilots that have been ongoing uh, with respect to how DOD is going to roll out zero trust attributes and then full capability have been uh, I'd say put on the launching pad now, and those, those ideas are now being accelerated. And what I would ask from industry and, uh, and others as we go forward is continue to do that. Look for where we know that there are, there are uh, deficiencies and um, potential deficiencies and, and put in uh, capability for the future and leave it dark because this is gonna happen again. Well, this has been another fantastic session. I'd like to thank all of our distinguished panel members as well as Nikesh and General Silveria for their leadership today. We also appreciate the commitment, tremendous support from all of our participants as always. We value these summits as a very unique venue for exchanging ideas and building trusted relationships between public and private sectors to pursue solutions 
to the challenges that our nation, fa our nation faces in the cyber domain.